New details in a real shakeup in Connecticut. The neighborhood news spotter bringing us to Plainfield, just over the Rhode Island border, because that's where a 3.3 magnitude earthquake hit early this morning. Were you one of the ones that actually felt it? Hi everyone, I'm Dan Janik. Well, judging by your calls and your emails, this morning's quake was felt well into Rhode Island. NBC 10's Mario Hilario is live in Plainfield tonight with new developments on this. Mario? Yeah, good evening, Dan. Well, look, coincidentally, a lot of kids in this area didn't have school today because of the wintry weather this morning, but it wasn't what was falling from the sky that had a lot of folks in this area concerned. And my whole house just shook. The 911 calls came in fast and furious. We're getting multiple phone calls. We're thinking it might be another uh, earthquake-type incident. Oh, my God. What's your name? An earthquake that hit in and around Plainfield, Connecticut, around 6.30 Monday morning. And then boom, boom, and the house started shaking. Maria Tarvis Pru and her family had just woken up when it happened. It happened so fast, in seven seconds or so, and it was just very, you know, I was shaking like crazy, and the kids were, like, laughing and, and kind of nervous all at the same time. I heard her scream, and so I jumped out of bed. I'm like, I think we just had an earthquake. And I'm like, that was a really big earthquake. Officially, it was a 3.3 quake with smaller foreshocks and aftershocks that continued into the early afternoon. It's very nerve wracking. Meredith Humphrey felt all of them. The strongest one knocked this hanging chandelier off its hook while she was in the kitchen. And it kind of knocked me across the room. And all the cabinet doors opened. Little things were falling out. Dishes rattling all over the place. <laughs> Plainfield police took up to 50 calls at their department alone. This is new to us. It's something different. We haven't experienced it before. Um, so we did have emergency plans in place just in case. Now, Plainfield police say no damage or injuries reported from the quake. Well, when Captain Ariaga said this was new to them, he meant new before last Thursday. You see, this is not the first quake to hit here in the Plainfield area in just the last several days. We'll have more on that, and we'll hear the woman who felt the big quake hit while she was on the phone with police. That's all coming up new at 6 o'clock. For now, we're live in Plainfield, Connecticut. Mario Juario, NBC10 News.